focus. Focus. All right, before we start this video, um, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not already, go subscribe, turn on post notifications, and also click the link in my bio. It's the first link, josiahstewart.com. Click the link, sign up for my weekly programs, and you'll get uh, weekly workout programs for free. It's lit. Alright, what's up guys? Jay Aesthetics here back with another video and no, I what I don't think I posted at all last week. Um, it's cause I, if you watch my other video, you know I was sick and you know I can barely talk without sounding like a uh, um, congested gorilla. But um yeah, so I decided to wait to shoot the other part of my QA until right now. So yeah, so now I'm about to go through the rest of the questions because I think I only went through the ones inside my DMs. So now I'm going to go through the ones in my comments, which is a whole bunch of it. So, a uh, whole bunch of it. A whole bunch of them. There is a whole bunch. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Andrew T. Watkins asks, did you have any brothers or sisters in your family? I have eight other siblings, so it's nine of us all together. Um, four, it was four boys first, then three girls and two boys. So I'm the third oldest. Um, so yeah. Um, Jack Young asks, what is my favorite movie? Lion King. Um, all of them. So yeah. If you haven't watched Lion King, if you're not a fan of Lion King, unsubscribe. Don't unsubscribe. You can watch it later and still be subscribed. Um, the Ray Vicious asks, what's your training split? Um, right now, Mondays I do legs, Tuesdays chest, Wednesdays back, Thursdays, um, arms and if i do shoulders with arms then i'll do that but then on friday if i don't do shoulders with arms on thursday then i'll do shoulders on friday then saturday i'll either do legs or chest depending if i did shoulders on friday if i did shoulders on friday i mean if i just shoulders on thursday and didn't do it on friday then i would do legs on friday and saturday i'll do chest again and i always take sundays off so yeah i feel locked but um the same guy axel was under the do rag um the ocean. Infinite underscore beyond 2.0 acts. Do you still use steroids or did you just use them to change quickly? I don't use steroids, never use steroids. Um why would I waste my money on steroids? Like I don't No. Um how old am I? I'm eighteen. Why won't you take photos and videos without that thing on your head? Um I think I uh I, I think I went over this before, but honestly, like, y'all made a big deal over the whole do-rag thing. Like, I was really only supposed to wear the do-rag for that one video because my hair was too short and it looked weird. But then y'all made this whole big deal. Why are you wearing a do-rag? Show your hairline. So I'm kind of just playing it off right now. Just, like, I literally put on a do-rag for every video. Like, most of the time I don't. Actually, that's a lie. I have a do-rag on a lot of the time. But, like, if I'm not wearing a do-rag and I'm about to shoot a video, I put on a do-rag just for the video. Just because you guys made such a big deal out of it. So, um, it's your fault. Maybe I'll do a, a um, hair reveal at a million subscribers. So, tag all your friends, make them uh, subscribe. Make like a million accounts, make them all subscribe. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, infinite underscore beyond acts again. Which do you like, Minecraft or Roblox? Um, I used to play Minecraft on the computer. Fun fact, I used to have a YouTube channel and I made Minecraft videos. Um, I guess I could put a little clip right here. Hey guys, Scrath Mod here, back with some more Minecraft Hunger Games, playing on Breeze Island on the Nexus server, and we're playing solo games, so everybody looks like me. So I, know, but I don't think anybody can team in this, because it will be pretty hard to, because you all look the same with the same name and everything. Why are you getting hit? What are you doing? Why would you hurt yourself? So yeah, that's, that's how I sounded. I think this was when I was like 13, 12, I don't know, it was someone when I was young. I think the channel is called Crafting Bot, so if you want to watch more videos, you can go on it. I don't care. The videos are still up. I'll probably never take them down. So yeah, I used to make um, Minecraft videos when I was younger. And I used to play Minecraft like all the time on my computer and on the Xbox, but mostly on my computer. Never played Roblox. My sisters played all the time. It sounds annoying and looks retarded, so never played it. Um, does Lightning McQueen have life insurance or car insurance? He probably doesn't have any. 
in all honesty, you know, who needs insurance these days, right? Um, next question. Let me. I'm really just scrolling through the comments, like I didn't pick out any from ahead of time. Um, what's the best way of getting gains for someone with a high metabolism? That's a good question. Um, so what I would suggest, if you have a high metabolism, obviously, I mean it's not obviously because not a lot of people know, but um, you have to eat more, and I would eat more consistently. Like you could. Someone had dropped a comment on my other video. It was like, yeah, it doesn't really matter how many um, meals you eat a day as long as you're hitting that calorie goal, which is kind of true, but not really. Like someone with a fast metabolism, if they're only eating three meals a day, their body is completely destroying that food because um, it doesn't have anything else to do. It doesn't have anything else to destroy in the meantime. So if you're constantly eating meals throughout the day, your metabolism is getting occupied, so it cannot be on, you know, complete destroy mode of those three main meals to get you your 2,000 or 3,000 calories or whatever you're saying, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. I tried to make it simple and, like, understandable instead of, you know, like, going into depth about metabolism and everything like that. But my um, advice for if you have a high metabolism and you're trying to, like, put on weight is definitely you have to eat a lot more. Um, and I would eat more consistently. So instead, you could be eating... 2,000 calories a day, but you could only be in two meals. 1,000 calories a meal? If you do that, you're lit. I don't know how you do it. Actually, that's probably not good for you. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I would split up the meals. So I would have like seven or eight meals a day. If you kind of wanted to know how like I would split out the meals, so like if um, you wake up at 8 o'clock, um, you have a meal or anything like that, I went through um, basically a guideline on when you should have meals in my last video, so go check it out if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, to answer that question, eat a lot more and more frequently. So your body is, um, what's it called, occupied, or it has stuff to, dis your metabolism has stuff to distract it from the bigger stuff, if that makes sense. I'm really just trying to put into like simple terms for anybody can understand. So yeah, um, T underscore Thomas 26 as do steroid injections hurt or should I take them in pill form? Honestly, like when I first started, um, you know, injecting it and stuff like that, it used to hurt a little bit. So I kind of stopped now. I just like take the, the powder or the liquid or whatever it is and just pour it inside a um, shaker bottle, you know, shake it up. Why do I always do this? This is so sus. I'm going to stop doing that. But yeah, put it in a shaker cup and shake it up with some uh, hot chocolate and yeah. Instant gains. Um, Joe underscore check underscore X. How many girls you be snagging? Snagging. That's a weird word. Snagging. How many girls do I be snagging? Let me count this up. Hold on. What are girls? What sports do I play? Um, I used to play basketball and a little bit of football. Never really got into soccer or baseball or nothing like that. Even though I'm, I think I'm naturally an athletic person, so like I can play most sports decently, um, just like off the bat. I used to be good at basketball. I can still shoot. Come on, if I'm gonna make a basketball video and I'm gonna be better than Steph Curry, just watch. Um, would you do a meetup in the future when you get bigger? That would honestly be super, super stupid because I would do not want to meet any of you guys. I'm just playing. That would actually be like super lit. Like um, when I get there, it's not if I get there. It's when I get to that point, I would definitely want to do that. Even like going around to different places to meet up with different people, you know. Well, meet up with different groups of people. That would be super lit in my honest, in my opinion, um, in all honesty. So yes, to answer your question, definitely it would happen. And you would be the first one I would fly out to come, you know, see me and everything like that. Um, two underscore Eric Sobar asks, would you say you're genetically gifted with how you're looking right now at a young age? Um, I would say, yeah, I have decent genetics, but obviously genetics doesn't get you everywhere. Um, you also have to, you know, put in the work uh, to be consistent. Do all the right things to kind of build on top of those genetics. So yeah, I guess I have decent genetics, but you get what I'm saying. 
Isaiah McHale, which is my brother. He's the one who made the website. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, JosiahStewart.com is the first link in the bio. Go check it out. Make sure you sign up for the free weekly programs. And yeah, he asks, who's your favorite brother? Um, I don't really like none of y'all, so I don't really have a favorite. So I'm going to have to go with no one. I don't really No. No. Um, next question. How many times a day did you eat when you started? And how do I get my triceps to show without flexing? How many days did I eat when I first started? I was eating, I was probably only eating like six meals a day, honestly, consistently. Five or six, seven max, maybe. Um, so yeah, that's how much I was eating. Now I'm kind of going from like six to eight meals a day because I'm not eating meat and everything, so I kind of have to make up for it, right? Um, and he asked, how do I get my flat triceps to show without flexing? Um, honestly, the triceps are the easiest to kind of flex when nobody would know that you're flexing it. Because your arm could be straight. I don't have on, like, a proper clothing for it. But your arm could be straight and you just, like, squeeze that part. It's a bad example because you can't see nothing. I don't feel like taking off the hoodie. But, um, yeah, your arm's straight. Just flex your arm real quick and there you go. But um, if you want to see it, if you want people to see it without you flexing or whatever, your body fat percentage has to be low enough for them to be able to see it. Plus, you have to have decent triceps already. So, work on your triceps. Uh, cut your body fat percentage down if it's not down enough. I'll probably do like three more questions. How long do you spend at the gym? If I'm by myself, probably like an hour, hour and a half. If I'm with other people, because you know it takes longer, because you have to keep changing the weight. Then you have to wait for them to do their set and all that stuff. Probably like two hours, two and a half hours. But if I'm by myself, it's probably from like an hour to hour and a half. Almighty Alyssa asks, what's your favorite hobby besides fitness? That's a hard question. What do I do? What is What do I like to do besides fitness stuff? Dang, that's really making me... I really... What do I do? I really don't do nothing. That's brush my hair, I guess. I do that. It's a hobby. I got nothing. Sorry, Alyssa. Why did you become a vegetarian? This would be my last question. Why did I become a vegetarian? Um, oh, I see some more questions I want to answer. But why did I become a vegetarian? Let me make this quick. Basically, I wanted to challenge myself for two weeks. I think this was back in September. Uh, for two weeks, I was like, yeah, let's see if you could do this. Um, everything like that. So two weeks straight, it was cool. I did it. I didn't eat meat again. I was like, I'm at two weeks. Let's just see how long I could go. I got to a month, two months. And... I don't think he knows this, but there's this dude on Instagram named Colton underscore Bergen or some, something like that. Um, I'll put like his Instagram like right there. He um, he makes YouTube videos too, so y'all can check him out. But um, I forgot what I posted on my story, but he like slid up on it or something like that. And we started talking just about like random stuff, I think. Then it came up the fact that I was like not eating meat or whatever. So he was like, I bet you won't do it for a year. He said, like, I bet you won't do it for a year or um, you should go for a year or something like that. And me, I'm a very competitive person. So if you challenge me to do something, I will probably do it um, just for the fact that I'm just competitive and I like to do that type of stuff. So he said, I bet you won't do it for a year or something like that. So, yeah, I guess that's where I'm going. September is like, what, four, four months away? So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's why the whole two week thing. I was just I just wanted to try it to see how it was. Um, you ever did boxing? If not, have you ever been in a fight? Have I ever done? I wanted to do boxing. I never did. Um, I thought it would be fun to do boxing, but I never really pursued it like that. Have you ever been in a fight? Yes, I have. When am I going to take off the do rag? This is my last question. When am I going to take off the do rag? I told y'all when I reach a million subscribers, so um, make sure you subscribe, tag all your friends, not tag all your friends, share it with all your friends, um, make a million YouTube accounts and just subscribe to me, and I'll take out the do-rag and y'all can see this ocean under my head, you feel me? Um, so yeah, I'm going to end it off right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something, um, if it's fitness-wise or it's just about me. Um, hope you learned something. Hope it was enjoyable, entertaining to watch, and um yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if 
If you haven't already, turn on the post notifications because you're going to want to be notified whenever I post because I'm about to be bringing out some super, super bangers. Super bangers. Super hot fire bangers. You ready? Um, so, yeah, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bless up. Another one.